And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for a special rank up Sunday. We're going to be doing another try hard rank up day. You may remember us doing this about a month or two ago with a deck we called Lucian's Fury, where I spent the day uh, ranking up with one deck where we could really see it play out more than just the five games and uh, really test it against more of the metagame, maybe tune it a little bit more. Right, if we find some things that, that we want to tune, we can uh, do that. We can adjust the, the numbers and keep playing. And uh, I got a lot of positive feedback about doing this the last time that we did, uh, even more than I thought that we would. And so um, we're going to be doing it again. We're going to be doing it with Bannerman Braum today. Whenever we played Ran Bannerman Braum last week, I felt like the deck, uh, the deck felt really, really strong, and I liked it quite a bit. And um, so I wanted to do that again. Of course, yesterday... If y'all watched the videos from yesterday, we did really well with the uh, uh, mid-range Frostbite and with Zed, uh, Zed's Fate. And so those kind of had a similar uh, similar video to this with the Zed's Fate deck yesterday. Um, but today, but I had a, I had a plan. I had like those, those decks for yesterday and, and I already had a plan of uh, basically spending extra time on this deck. So we're going we're gonna to be playing it for three videos and each video I'm going to just be making it around an hour. Uh, basically about an hour for each one and so uh, even if we like if we play five games and it's been 35 minutes we'll keep playing so we'll we'll just play the games to, for about an hour for each one so we could play more than five um, so hopefully it'll give y'all um, you know a, a better view of a deck that um, I think is really strong and a deck that you can rank up with and just more um, you know more information about it and everything like that so you know leave those comments let me know what you think of this format. Um, it's not something I do very often because it's it's basically when I do this format, it's going to be whenever I have a deck that's a little different from what other people are playing and a deck that I think is really powerful. Both of those uh, things and a deck that I really recommend. Um, so we'll have to see. You know, like uh, last time it actually didn't work out that great for us. We went about 500. Hopefully we do better than that today. Um and uh, yeah, we'll get started here. I'm changing three cards from whenever we played this deck last time. You may remember I played two Unyielding Spirits and decided to move those to back-to-back. -back. Um, you know, Unyielding Spirits a little slow. It really is with uh, being eight mana. Now it's fast instead of burst speed. And I didn't really realize how Unyielding Spirit doesn't really work that well with Braum whenever I, I played the deck the first time because once if Unyielding Spirit, if you Unyielding Spirit Braum. Then Braum cannot take damage, so Braum does not survive damage. So Braum won't level up and won't make Mighty Poros and that kind of stuff. So that's a little bit of a nonbo also. Obviously, Unyielding Spirit with Fiora is very good, but I decided just to cut that cut that mana down to and go with back to back, which is burst speed, which can affect two things, um, and you know, uh, and do that and just be a nice combat trick that's pretty awesome. Um, so change those two, and then um, I kind of decided that. I had too many fight spells, so I'm actually taking out a single combat because we don't have like the largest units, especially a lot of like uh, smaller power ones. So taking out one single combat and getting the third Repost in. I was, I loved Repost with the Zed Shen deck, and I think the Repost pairs really well with like Fiora to be able to make it larger to, to kill a larger thing, and kind of like Braum also, right? Like Braum with Repost, pretty sweet as well. I'm keeping Concerted Strikes that can take down larger units. Um, we're going we're gonna to just remove one a single combat. So we can still have our three Concerted Strikes, two single combats. We can still uh, do some damage and kill some things, especially with the aura. All right, let's play some Bannerman Brawl. We're going to just, you know, go play in ranked. Um, uh, let's see, we are two wins away from Masters. Hopefully we get there today. <laughs> I'll be very surprised if we don't and very sad if we don't. Um... Yeah, we're, let's just go, uh, you know, spend spend our time focusing on one deck, tuning it, and things like that. So y'all can confidently, you know, at the end of this, you know, watching watching these three videos, um, at the end you can uh, really learn a lot about the deck and confidently take it uh, to rank yourself. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Horizon Sword. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm gonna still split them up on YouTube. So yeah, we're still doing. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not switching up the YouTube um, cadence where we will be playing. Um, 
I wonder if Protégé is better than Fiora now. Uh, against a deck, you know, that, that's basically a, a removal heavy deck, like where you have the four health instead of the three health. Um, uh, I'm still going to be having the four videos a day, still spread them out like always. Um, you know, so the first one of these will go up 6, 6 p.m. Eastern, and then the next one, 11 p.m. Eastern, and then the third one will be 6 a.m. Eastern. And then uh, 11 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. Eastern on uh, Monday, and then and then the fate for then we got one donation deck to play, Fate Fortune, and that will be up 11 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. So they'll spread them out like always. Yep, uh, I did adjust the camera. Hopefully, there's no camera lag. Hopefully. It's a really good War Chef's draw. I was going to be worried that we had no one mana or two mana card to play. Yeah, so Fury of the North would be good in the deck. But the problem is we're a Bannerman deck, and I really don't want to play very many Freljord cards. We got Omenhawk, and we have Braum, and that's really all I want to play. But yeah, Fury of the North would be good, um, normally. In the name of our Eat up, friend. What's up, Cabo? Good morning. End this round. I think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Um. Feed Demacia. Night falls. Hmm. I think I'm going to fight that with... Maybe I'll fight it with this, just this little War Chef. Actually. So basically I want to use the two mana where next turn I'll still have two mana to, to go along with Elmhar plus single combat for the next turn. Yeah, it's not that yes, that 2-2 two -two is not much of a threat, but um It's just another blocker, right? Like like with getting that 2-2 two -two out of there, now like they're at 12. This is a lot of pressure that we have going on. And they're going to have to they're gonna have to answer all this stuff. No, so, yeah, we talked about that, Cabo. We don't want to play Fury of the North because we're a Bannerman deck. Really don't ever want to miss on Bannerman. Follow my lead. So, yeah, I'm, it's, it's the aggressive line using those single combats, but it's, you know, I had mana to... Um, and now we are going to be... Putting a lot of pressure on them.
Yeah. Can't fight on an empty stomach. I was, con you know, kind of go going back and forth on what to um, war chefs. I, you know, with the four man, I don't want them to like static shock and kill the fior with the static shock. Oh, that was really nice for them. Um, and we did, you know, we are getting rid of three cards at, at the cost of zero cards, but it, yeah, it sets up those things. So, we still have four cards in hand, they have four cards in hand, we're even up there, but then we have a 3-1 and a 3-2 in play. So that's not so bad. Ezreal's only three out of eight. The dark beckons. Um... If I play Elmheart, we save one mana, and then next turn I play Elmheart, we'd have two extra mana, so three total, so we wouldn't be able to go Repost or Concerted Strike. If I go Braum, we save three mana, and then next turn Elmheart, uh, we would have enough. You know, we would have five mana, so we could go Concerted Strike or Repost. Um, but we wouldn't have two Genevieves in play, and two Genevieves is obviously quite good. But so is Braum. I think I'd I think I'd rather have the spells available for next turn. It's a tough call. Because the Genevieve this turn would just heal the like so it'd still be good, because it'd heal Bannerman and War Chefs. Yeah, that's uh, that's where the Elm Heart would have been better. I play Tracker, I don't get to Concerted Strike, but I have Repost still. Yeah, I'll check it. I mean, I'm still... Yeah, I'm still going wide, but the healing would be nice, would have been nice. I'll defend these forests to the end. Hey, what's up, Potato? Their pride will cost them. All right, final boss time. Final boss time. No champion, Noxus, Shadow Isles. That is our final boss. Um. Ugh, do we lead with Omen Hawk or Tracker? If I had the attack token turn two, I would definitely lead Tracker and then be able to go Tracker and then like War Chefs or, or now Protector and then immediately attack. Um, but I have the attack token turn three. I'm going to lead with Omen Hawk because of that. Get, get those things immediately in there. And now I play War Chefs on two, and then turn three we can either play Fiora and have and have like War Chefs Fiora, or we go Tracker plus Protector on turn three. We'll kind of see um, where things are at. I'm glad we led with this Omen Hawk. I like this just trading Omen Hawk for the Saboteur. I'll take that. And a fight is a cooking. I think I go protector. I'm I'm worried about three mana four three, 
where Fiora doesn't really get to challenge 3 mana 4-3. 5-4. We're just not challenging, right? We're just going to attack for a bunch. Yeah, just hit for 9. They can't block. I'm glad we didn't play Fiora. Nothing but Noxian might. Nothing else? Just Noxian might? I feel there's probably something else. Mm. I and mean, this is going to be my play. Okay, is this lethal? Feel the sizzle. Other way around. Into the base. My steel is yours. Yeah, that's ten. That's what I thought. Okay. I didn't really do the math though. Yeah, so that's ten. So lethal, and we have repost protection. GG's. Well, I still don't think Reckless Trifarian is playable. A lot of people are starting to play Reckless Trifarian. And I basically win every single time my opponent plays Reckless Trifarian. I don't like it in the in the Ash Sejuani decks at, at all. We're rank zero? What does that mean? Zero? Okay, so we're at zero LP and then you just go up now? Okay, so we're Masters rank zero LP and... Okay, and then each win you go up the 20 and each loss you lose 20. Gotcha. We did it! We hit Masters! Definitely took, took me the longest that it had, but, uh, you know, yesterday that was the goal. How are they like 21? How do you get a 1? <laughs> what is that about? Oh, it's something weird, like 15 to 25? Okay. It depends on your rank and the opponent's rank. Gotcha. Okay. So we can get, like, 16 or whatever. I have my so that's why they're 21. Alright, well, we're cooking with birds. Double Omen Hawk, double War Chefs. Not that hot. A little spicy. I like 4 4 Fiora. 4 4 Fiora. They would fall by my blade. They will fall by my blade. Explosives primed. Everything's in place. Wow. Get in my I was not expecting attacks. Such unrefined style. So they sacrifice those two to do four damage to me and a little bit of damage to my units. Sorry, Omen Hawk. I know, I want to play you too, I know. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, you don't have Fiora. What can you cut? Yeah, yeah, for Laurent Duelist. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good... Got your back. Um, yeah, you definitely... The deck has a lot of things that cost four or more. If you are if you need to cut Fiora, it has to be with something that costs three or less. So, yeah, you want to go Duelist. Um, 
that's perfectly reasonable. Feel the sizzle. Eat up, friend. Maybe you need a closer look. That was a great used cask salesman. I have no equal. A great used cast salesman. I am now not as confident in winning this game as I was before that used cast salesman. Mm. Yeah, if you don't have Braum, you could use Garen, yeah. Alright, so attack out 9, 10, 12, 13. But I want to put more power into play. I really hope they don't have another used cask salesman. Awesome. They're going just burn spells. I was gonna put 18, you know, like with playing with playing our two units, we were gonna put 18 power into play, so we're gonna force them to have some kind of blocker. Force them to have something. I don't know if you get Braum for free in the starter decks. I don't know. Duelist may be better than Badger Bear, honestly. I, I don't think I... I wouldn't play Badger Bear. I would rather play Duelist or uh, Vanguard Redeemer or Vanguard Sergeant. I think, like, the 3-3s three that generate a free card or Duelist that gives the Challenger. Like, Challenger is pretty important. I would I would recommend those kind of cards over Badger Bear that's just the, the four health. Like, I'd rather have a, a free card with Redeemer or Sergeant than one point of health. Lee Draven. Basically just mulligan getting the spells and try to curve out all the time. And you know, you'll you'll draw spells. You you want like, you know, two spells and you'll find like two spells most of the time. Raven Leeson. Yeah, I, I don't know why people don't say Demacia isn't good. I, I just don't think that they're tr trying different Demacia decks or something. Fight with my spirit, not my we played the Demacia deck yesterday with Zed Chen and went 10-0. Now we're 3-0 with this. We're 13-0 with Demacia in our last 13 games. Okay, why? How would it, using Fiora to challenge the one three be bad? What would they? What would they play? <clears throat> Calling strike. Transfusion. Transfusion. 
Let's just go this. What's up, Maximus? Just got here, welcome. I don't I don't know you say that Draven Lee sin's really overrated. I don't know if there's I know there's people that say that it's like a great deck. It's it's fun to play, and you know some people like it. But I think it's just like a regular deck. It's not it's nothing special, but you know it's. I don't know anybody that has it rated so highly that I would call it an overrated deck. If that makes sense. So there was the transfusion. So they killed my one drop instead of killing my Fiora. Right. I will play my part. Part is going down. My strength is yours. Okay, we're gonna have you challenge you, you challenge you, and you just stand in there. So they have four cards left. I have three cards left. But I have a better board, I think. Pretty sure. Force is meaningless without skill. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. We speak with blades. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely, Maximus. I will I will make donation decks for you if you choose that. If you want to If you want to just um yeah, if you want to do a donation deck where you just say build around these champions, Our enemies cannot not a problem. Conflict is all in the mind. As the dragon will. Not a problem. The order rewards its faithful. Got your back. Their pride will cost them. Strike quickly, try me. Honor guide me. Now we're at the mercy of our draws. We have we have one Omen Hawk uh, trigger left, and now here's another one. This is the the one problem with playing Omen Hawk is when you start drawing the Omen Hawks in the late game. That's your one problem with playing Omen Hawk. Master our next thing self. will have your enemy. um. Our 
our next our next unit's gonna get a plus two plus two. Conflict is all in the mind. I hope it's not burst speed and we could respond with concerted strike. strike firm. Prepare yourself. Nah, it's burst. Conflict is all in the mind. Center your spirit. Yeah, we also yeah, we did draw all three birds, which isn't ideal. And they had that third resonating strike. Those resonating strikes have been pretty good at pumping up the power. They had the third one. Uh that was yeah, that was a great card for them to have. So I can only do I can you know I can basically have like strike and take down the barrier and then strike and do six and I can make the lease in a six one. That's probably not worth using. That's a great draw. Better than what I blocked that anyway. Oh, that's only seven damage. Oh, it's not lethal. I should have counted that. I kind of just assumed that was going to be lethal. Where you go, I go. Finally, we drew something. I have the best job. Do you? Okay, we're going to block that thing. Oh, they bounce. Actually, no, that doesn't work, so let's go. Wouldn't be surprised if they have another deny. Okay. I would not hold back. So basically, I didn't want to do the four fours because if they just had like Will of Ionia, which I thought I thought it was kind of likely they'd have like a bounce spell with Will of Ionia, they would bounce one of my four fours, and then I don't get to kill their thing, and then I wouldn't kill Lee Sin. It it turned out they had the third calling strike. So, you know, that's what they used there with the third pulling strike. But, um... Oh, that worked just fine. I think that was the, the best mode to go with that. Yes, they're dead. The bright seal protector as well. All right, four and zero. 
Leeson did some work. That was closer than I expected it to be. Leeson did some work. Um, you know, before we drew like the Omen Hawks a couple of turns in a row and things like that, it didn't think it was going to be that close. This is going to be weird. Sejuani Braum. I could certainly see me losing to Sejuani Braum. And so, like, the second Braum, you can think of it as Take Heart. But I don't think I really... You know, like, if we weren't playing against Ionia, I would be more inclined to keep the second Braum as a Take Heart. But playing against Ionia and Will of Ionia, I don't really want to Take Heart. Winter, take you! Arrows at the ready! I think I really attack. Took the bait. Going down in damage for now. If they're out there, I'll so we'll see. I'm gonna be keeping these things and just pumping up a bunch of stuff with Bannerman. You know, like we're making another mighty, we're, we're making a mighty Poro here to get another unit, and we're just gonna have a very large Bannerman. You know, Omen Hawk's a good draw where we can play that as well. We'll have a full board, full Bannerman board. How can Brom help? Brom can help by making me some mighty Poros. Soldier, to me. No. So that means we have Omen Hawk or Braum on top. We had four total Frelio cards left in the deck out of the 31. Ugh. Because we already had two of the Frelio cards in hand. So we had four out of 31 was our... Bow to no one. So missing that. I want to have back to back. Let's go, our friends. They know. This is fun, yes. Born for conquest. Wow. Defend our banner. Do back to back, sweet. I think it's been better than Unyielding Spirit would have been. Sometimes I see heart just needs warm spot. Well thought. Certainly wish these war shafts were three fours.
Hmm. I don't want to just like obliterate one of my things to play a bannerman. But I also want to. If we just attack all out. Into the base. Protect and strike. Yeah, we'll just attack all out. No one goes hungry. Probably should be pumping up the four three and turn this into a five four. And the, the five five blocks the four four. Braum. That's not good. Yeah, Fury of the North's also a really good card. At least with them using the other Fury of the North, it's going to be, hopefully, it's going to be easier for my Concerted Strike to take down Braum. That attack really didn't work out with the double fury. Guess I should have just passed. Well, similar kind of deck. They, uh, who's the beatdown in this matchup? Neither. No, ni neither of us are the beatdown. Both of both of the both of our decks are doing the same thing of grind the opponent out with with Braum. We're doing the same thing. Neither of us are beatdown decks in the matchup. They did a better job with the Elixir of Iron, Fury of the North combos. Those combos have. Helped propel them, and then the deny for concerted strike. They've had more spells that have kept the that has protected their brom. It's not a, a beatdown matchup. So we can kill them through a take heart. But if they have, you know, Will of Ionia or Fury of the North. Or they have that plus take heart. And we don't have options. Third Fury of the North. Card's 
good. Alright, GG's. It takes our own deck to beat us. Basically our own deck. Hey, Ant-Man. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that resub for eight awesome months. So many months. You are amazing, Ant-Man. Thank you so much. I don't want to play against this deck again. <laughs> um... Also, that really, like, you know, we had a, a couple of turning points. Our Bannerman missing, like, remember that, that Bannerman missing, that was huge. That was a big turning point in that game. That was an additional, you know, 10 points of power and toughness that I didn't have. Power and health, I suppose. That was huge. Delicious challenge. And that just kind of that just set me back. It like didn't let me attack that turn. All sorts of stuff. All right, well, two, we speak with two six Brahms. Thanks to the Omen Hawk. The oh, four four time Tower time Keeper, not bad. Is this worth it? No. Safeguard our homes. Yud, twenty months. Thank you, Yud. Opponent. Awesome, thank you, Yud. No, still in part one. Um, I'm doing these ones more by, instead of just five games, by timing of length of video. Gonna have them all about an hour, so we'll, we'll play more than five. Um. At least Kindly Tavern Keeper doesn't do anything. Um. One banner, one destiny. Gotta make sure I beat Fury of the North, which is not easy. North. Yeah, so they're just gonna be holding up Fury of the North. Well, I, I don't really want Braum to die, do I? The answer is no. So our plan is... I will cut you down. Our plan is not to have Braum die. Why am I attacking with the T2? Think hard. Think strong. Uh, so you're to attack with the T2? No one goes hungry. I've got meat bigger than you. I'll take that. Not under one banner. running out of Fury of the Norths anytime soon. At least it doesn't seem like it. You're covered. Soldier, to me. Mm. 
Man. Why can't we have seven things? <laughs> Why can't we just have seven things? Just the best play. You know, obviously, I would love to be playing Genevieve Elmhearts. But it's just the best play. I'll defend these to the and I'm not I'm not very in, intrigued into playing Take Heart because of um you know, I'm not I'm not that thrilled about playing Take Heart because of Will of Ionia. What's up, noise? Hey, thanks for the cheers. Good luck. Have fun. Make a noise. We fight for one frail yard. Wish we had a spell. Wish we had a spell. Post. Back to back. Good third strike. It's a spell. We will take it. Just, just eliminate another three three. Alright, there is Bannerman Brum. After losing, that's a good revenge game there, right? Like, after losing the first time that we played against that Brom Sejuani this time, they didn't have as many Fury of the Norse, you know, they didn't have all three Fury of the Norse and Elixir of Iron and Deny and all that kind of stuff. And we were more easily able to take over. Um, yeah, this deck, this deck's looking good so far. You know, five and one. This is... You know, 55 minutes here, we'll uh, go ahead and move on to part two. Um, uh, yeah, this one, this one looked, look, you know, still looking good. I don't think, I don't think any changes are in order after part one. I think that 
the deck looks strong. I'm I'm enjoying the back to backs. I think that these are performing better than Unyielding Spirit, so I'm enjoying those. I like the Concerted Strikes. Um, yeah, list looks good so far. All right, so that's part one for Bannerman Brom. Those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, you know, hit that like button, of course. And again, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of uh, this format where we take one deck and really test it out more again against more of the format than just the five games. Um, hopefully, it's um, you know, hopefully you get to learn more about one specific deck and maybe be more confident in taking it to rank up. All right, but that's it here for first part of our try hard rank up Sunday. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you for part two in a little bit.